Okay, guys, these are the solutions. Uh, the first question is the binomial expansion. So what I did is I took the three out, so it goes as three to the minus three, so it's one over 27. And then the usual expansion, really, I'm not gonna read it out. You can uh, pause the video and go through each step, okay? And you get this line here. Question two, obviously, um, you had to work out all the points, so I'm just gonna hold it here. Hopefully you can uh, work out all the values. And then you use the trapezium rule to get the area, which is 19.5412. And if you use integration, integration by parts, you get the area at 17.2469. So you can see it's pretty close to each other. Okay. And question three. Uh, question three had a slight issue. So obviously dy dx works out to be minus 9x squared y minus 3 over 3x cubed plus 6 minus pi cos pi y. Now, uh, I know in, in the initial question, I said find uh, point P has x equal to 2. Unfortunately, it's not possible to solve with x equal to 2, so I changed the question slightly. It's uh, y equals to 0, so it's a mistake in the question. So if you use y equal to 0, you get x equals to 11 over 3, and the gradient at P, it works out to be minus 27 over uh, 1385 minus 9, uh, 9 pi. And then you plug that in, uh, so the normal would be the um, negative reciprocal of that, and then you use the equation, okay? So it's a bit of a um, uh, typo in the question, but you can still do it with this value, and you can do it yourself, and uh, mark it if you can. Okay. Question four. Um, again, there was a few, <laughs> few errors, so I accidentally given so many marks for this question, but it doesn't matter. So V equals to 100 pi H, dV dH is 100 pi, dV dT is 80, so dH dT works out to be 4 over 5 pi. And for uh, part B, both parts 1 and 2, uh, the same answer, 0.25 centimeters per second, because it's actually constant uh, uh, dV dT all the way through, dH dT. Uh, question 5, uh, so you have uh, dY dx equals to... <clears throat> 3 root 3 cos x 2t cot 2t over cos x squared t. The gradient at uh, t equals to pi over 3 works out to be minus 2 minus 3 root 3 over 2. And uh, for part b, when dy dx is equal to 0, you get uh, tan 2t equals to infinity, so 2t equals uh, pi over 2. So t equals to pi over 4. Okay. Actually, 2t equals to pi over 2, which makes t equals to pi over 4. Uh, and then you get this here. Okay, so I think I might have done a mistake here myself. So it is an asymptote. Actually, my question is wrong here, guys. So this should be pi over 4 because this is 2t at the bottom equals to pi over 2. So let me just correct it as we speak, actually. So... So, th so t is equal to pi over 4, so this is pi over 4, so everything, so this would be pi over 2, this is pi over 2, so things would change slightly here, okay. And at p, uh, you put the coordinates in and then work out the uh, tangent, I believe. Question 6. Um, part I, you use partial fractions to find A and B. Okay, in the question here, I've written B first and A second because A is negative. So I just wrote it. I mean, it doesn't matter which way around you write it. So you get 8 fifths ln 2y plus 5 minus 3 fifths ln y. Okay, and for part B is a long question. If you can do part B here, then you're pretty much ready for any question. So integral, I let that equal to i. Okay, so the first thing is x equals to 9 sine squared theta, so dx d theta equals to that, and dx equals to 18 sine theta cos theta d theta. So root x equals to 3 sine theta, and then you work out root 9 minus x, and then you work out the values of x equals 0 and x equals 9 over 2, which becomes 0 and pi over 4, and you plug everything into the integral, okay, so and then it cancels nicely, and then you get 18 sine squared theta d theta. And you take the um, 
9 out and it'd be 1 minus cos 2 theta and then you integrate it and this is the answer okay now for this question <coughs> so so when mean equals minus 1 i equals to basically the point p is 4 minus 6 2 l2 would be just minus 2 3 4 plus lambda times minus 2 5 3 uh, so pq is q minus p you get minus 6 9 2 pq modulus is 11 and then here you get cos theta equals to 63 11 root 38 because we are kind of uh, organized this i let a equals the first vector b equals the second vector and then work out all the products make sure you show this clearly and uh, two reasons really you don't do any mistakes and also you are clearly showing all the working and for the uh, area so it'll be half times this length is 11 this length is 11 they're equal and then angle theta we can just do cos inverse of this so what i did is i plug it in sine of cos inverse of this and you get 22.4 units squared okay good luck for tomorrow guys and uh, i'll try to write as to if i can